Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, we're jumping back into City Skylines 2 once the old screen pops up. There we go. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better today, thank you for asking. Um, not quite 100%, but certainly, I think you can tell from my voice, a lot of um, the sinusy stuff has now passed by. And I've got to give a massive shout out to the wife for that, because she made me a honey, lemon and whiskey lem sip with a with a little spoonful of sugar and my god not only did that taste great it really does seem to have made a positive difference right i'd really like to have a home here in the city but what but there are none available so there's a massive demand for low density properties so i think i made these high density didn't i so let's change these to low density A lot of people getting kicked out of their homes there. Right. So there's absolutely tons of space for people to move into. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, this is a bit messy, isn't it? This is a bit junior-ish. The landfill seems okay. What's our target here? Roundabouts. I think we're going to unlock roundabouts. So we now have roundabouts, and I'm thinking a roundabout sort of here would be a good idea. So let's have a look and see how roundabouts work. Is that a roundabout? Population has increased and citizen happiness has gone up. A large central roundabout. How does this work then? Road required. Okay, that's a lot smaller than I was expecting. Wow, we're going to lose that whole section. Okay, not just the roundabout. Let's go for the biggest roundabout. That is not a big roundabout, is it? That is a small roundabout. Interesting. I may have to revert back to uh, the previous style. We've got the option there to come across. So I'll have a slow road in and a quick road out. I don't know if I like that or not, actually. Let's get rid of that section. We'll come back to that idea at another time. Pop Musician Mansion. Terrace of this house is perfect for the party of the pop star living there loves the throne. A new signature building. Signature buildings are special unique buildings that grant XP awards and provide various benefits to their surroundings. These are unique buildings that unlock one by one as you fulfill requirements specific for each building. Once unlocked you can build each of the signature buildings. Build a signature building grants you XP. Many signature buildings have a positive effect on the area surrounding it. These effects are more information about each building are shown when you hover over the building. Signature buildings are organized by the zones they are related to in the menu, but they can be placed in any zone on the map. Each theme has its own corresponding set of signature builds. Well-being within 500 meters. Well, that's perfect for over here. So all of these houses over here, this whole area, I'm going to try and build it 
these super special houses. Oh, okay, that's a problem. Let's see what's happened there. There's no connection. Can I... I don't think that's connected, is it? Underground view. You can turn the underground view on and off here at any time. Okay. bit messy but it's it's underground messy so it doesn't affect the aesthetics in any way. And the house is up and running. I'm not quite sure where he's getting his power from. Right, I'm straight over the bridge as is. Okay that's great. Come in. If I come into the uh, place mode, can like somewhere I saw I thought there was a way to like add paths and stuff like that. I have to come back to that. But anyway, I'm very happy with this. This is very cool. And this is perfect for what we're planning on doing with this over here. What the hell is that? The old mill ruins. Oh, wow. I should protect that, shouldn't I? Let's protect that with a little... Our protected building. Oh, why isn't it connected? For? Lovely. That's now like uh, a feature. We sound. Annoyingly, all of those roads have little street maps on, 
Uh, so now I'm gonna have to. place the sections at the don't. Okay. Why has it done that for the road? What has happened there? underground food. Oh, look! Doesn't have the attachment. What? But it says it does. Look, you can see on the picture it does. I don't like that, that seems to be breaking stuff. Wait a minute, right, pause. I'm confused here. That has got pipes underneath. You can see that it does, so why is it not installing them? The electricity there. And the water is there. Oh no, that's so weird. Right. So that's that fixed. You're listening to Second Moon, the station for the so cultural what? sophisticate who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move now from the uh, musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear... Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite, uh, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives from that's, that's a little bit confusing. Gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the honor, mm. uh, but I digest to continue. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. Sorry. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight, as the aurora borealis is expected to light up the night sky. That's right, Jim. Don't Ooh, forget the aurora the borealis. Sun. It promises Impressive. to be quite a sight. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, uh, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people butter. trying to move here, right? Humans wow. are programmed to huge. desire certain representations mm. within ideological reward structures, which right. are So I had to destroy some of the houses there to get those in, but 
For example, consider cabin. I think it's important. One final question, Professor. Is the housing short? Vertigo Square. New signature building available. Citizens will be dizzy with excitement living here. I like the sound of But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. <laughs> um, milestone three unlocked, man. That was quick. Large village. Progression panel. What have we? What have we unlocked? Fire and rescue. Firehouse. Police stations. Livestock farming. Uh, and increased loan limits. So far, this is like zero challenge whatsoever. That is a weird, weird looking building. I'm not sure I'd like to live there, but each to their own. Each to their own. Wow, look at that view over there. It does look... It looks like an, um, a city from the 1900s to me right now. There's a lot of parked cars down here. There is a way you can change this and add more... Parking and stuff. There's loads of space for people to move into. So I don't know why they're all trying to make out there isn't. There's an enormous demand for housing there, isn't there? Alright, let's try one of the new road grid creating things. Okay, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Right, so I'm going to turn on grid. I'm going to try and draw a grid here. Actually, let's uh, have a little section coming off first. Ninety degrees. And then we'll build a grid out from there, I guess. Oh, I see, it starts from... Right. So I want this grid to start... It to be like... That. Yeah, okay, something like that. What happened there? Ah... Oh. This chirper thing popped up and got in the way, I think. Citizens, city services and companies chirp about their situations and opinions. Chirps are often about problems. Yeah. Can we, can we move that? It's, it was so much better when it was at the top. Right, let's try this again. So how long is that? It's, uh, Valid shape overlapping item. There we go. It didn't seem didn't properly connect up. Okay, I thought it was going to it's a bit frustrating. But okay. Right, so that's a bit more uniform. Let's try and make it look like this one. We've got this kind of weird intersection thing going on. I kind of like that look. It's nice. Much. So, huge demand for low density energy. Look at that, that Got some shops at the front. I 
filling up really quick. What's wrong with this section? Ah, uh, this is not the low density, this is high density. Nobody wants that. Small demand for industrial. Bit of a problem because kind of box this in in a way that switch where I can put them. So there's a lot of trees there. Oh, people are dying more than usual. I need to get them into development, health, crematorium. In a hospital. How many points do I have? Does it say somewhere? Four. Got four available. Right, so what I might do. I might have a commercial zone up here. Maybe off the road there. Let's have. Oh, we don't have enough money for a hospital. Are we actually making any money? That's population. We're losing 958 an hour. An hour. And a building is on fire. Okay, these are very big problems. Fire department are in. Should we follow this fire engine? See what he does. It's a bit stuttery. Definitely needs a bit of a. Uh, performance enhancement. Gosh, there is a house on fire somewhere. Where is the house that's on fire? The forest is on fire. Oh, wow, I see the fire. Is that what they mean by the forest is on fire? Wow, they only sent one fire engine, that's a bit... A bit restricted, isn't it? What's this? They need police? Oh, they need a hearse. Okay, so we need a cemetery and a crematorium. The cemetery is just enormous. Why can't I have it sideways? How do you rotate the building? Not rotate a building anymore. Okay. 
Although that's handy, Zed brings up that important panel there. Right, okay, I need to do this rather quickly or we're gonna lose everyone. I created here. I created little pockets of water. How did that happen? To say that was unexpected is uh, an understatement. What's happened to this bit of road? Is it still there? That's most gone. I don't really know what's happened there. It's kind of destroyed the road. I'm going to roll with it though, because it looks kind of cool. Right, so there's an enormous demand for housing. I'm going to have to something about that. Thank you. Road. Density housing, see it all just take off. I don't think, I don't think that's perfectly centralized, but it would do. get used to this. So Recent spikes in demand don't connect the way I kind of expect them to shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. You're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of musical delight. Tonight we are doing a musical tour of Italia. Mm -hmm. Land of art and culture. <laughs> que bon, as they say. And an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi shall be our guide. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest 
Professor Nakwater. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations for within ideological reward structures. These guys have houses? They do. The so why are they not? Enjoyed. For example, why are they not? Right, 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 final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps. Crikey, yes, we're losing money hand over fist here. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. I get the impression they're trying to sort of mimic. Uh, the same sort of comedic stuff we see from uh, um, oh, what's it called? Point Hospital and all that lot. Their radio com stuff is absolutely hilarious. What's going on here? High rent. This is very new. The building occupants have trouble paying the rent. A higher zone density or different zoning might be needed. Okay. Well, we've got lots of houses popping up over here. that will help. Let's try that other new road section as well, this one. Complex curve. So... Quite yeah, okay, that's probably not the best position to do that. But okay. It's going to make this road really busy. We're still growing. We're still we seem to be doing all right. What's going on here? Not enough li electricity. Backed up sewer. We have an overabundance of electricity, so what am I what do I need to do here then? Transformer station, transform high voltage currents coming from a power plant to low voltage current usable by buildings. So do I need to install this? Does that fix that problem? According to this, we need power lines. The only power lines we have are over here. It's been a traffic accident. Help is on the way. Make accident clearance as efficient as possible. Make sure your city has these services available and that police cars, fire engines and ambulances have a clear path to the accident site. Where's the traffic accident? I want to see it. I need to go to police station as well. Too big. I need to get. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is very much the learning phase, isn't it? Oh, I see, that's not ours, that one.
Right, so we have enough milestone for district creation, production panel, policies, natural disasters, oh dear. Transportation overview, low rent housing, low density offices, grain farming, forestry, transportation, bus depots, taxi depots, park and recreation. We seem to be growing and expanding very, very quickly. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Why is that not connected to that? That is now connected to that. I mean, I don't particularly want to do this, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out how things work. This appears to be a critical element towards making that happen. Nope, still having problems here. see what's happening. The water's coming this way, that's why this isn't dissipating anywhere. Okay. So I need to find a section of water that's going away. None of it is going away, really. gonna have to put it over this side somehow okay so the size is met it's enormous isn't it I'm gonna buy here hope I don't know if it's going to let me do it. Now let me chuck it there. So I wonder if I could just dig out a little bit here. is mine. I should be able to put something there. And the fact that it's not letting me is a little frustrating. Right, okay. So that is going down. Crikey.
Okay, so this is what I want to do. So we'll fix that. Okay. Yes, okay, that's kind of what I was after, that. Oh, that was a little complicated. So we have a sewage outlet now that fits there. start working at some point I guess. There we go. So obviously we don't want anyone swimming around this area but it should dissipate away I'm thinking. It should flow away from there. All right. get rid of this one. I don't know how we're going to get rid of that pollution. It still hasn't fixed it. I don't understand. The sewage system is not able to drain all of the wastewater being produced. How is that the case? Because according to this... According to this, we're... We're fine. There's obviously a problem just Bending with this one building. Power grid, the but I don't know how to fix it. experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary Ooh, local shortages access. in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. This is Second Moon with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next selection, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. Right, okay. For our newer, less I, able I listener, don't know what to do with this building at all. We will be dancing through uh, the dent section before entering the slower largo. It's not getting enough electricity or, or enough water. The, the building next to it, absolutely so, fine. Without so, ado, let's raise the curtain. End begin. And I've done this thing. And so on to our main feature really story. Know. The no, commercial district is confused. booming as the area is attracting more high end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Um, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, <laughs> that's all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual... Oh, that's how you might say it. I tried that before, it didn't rotate. 
Right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. Right. So happiness went right down. It's starting to come back up again. I have no idea how to fix this building. Not a clue. Uh, he has electricity. I think. Oh no, he doesn't have electricity. Why doesn't he have electricity? Every other building has got electricity except for him. Why is that? And I can't even put an electricity cable in there. What about water? No, he hasn't got any waters. Why is that not connected properly? Ah, because this road is broken. That's why. Right, so I can't run with this what's here. I'm going to have to fix it. That's a bug for sure. See if that fixes the problem. Just boost up the electricity option anyway. So I didn't need to build any of this or that. That was completely unnecessary so we'll, we'll get rid of all of these. Because they're unsightly and I don't want them. I'll leave that one up then. Right. Okay. Does that fix the problem? I think it's created a new problem, isn't it? So now that road is missing. And that road is missing. Right, is that going to fix it now? I think that's going to work finally. Still doesn't have really. I think that's the extra bit I built, isn't it? Right, there we go. There we go. So that was a bug. Okay, so we are going to see some bugs in this game. Right, well, this is filled up super fast. Quite impressed, actually, just how quickly that did fill up. So people are still waiting for hearses. There are hearses there, so it's just a matter of time of waiting. We need to get there, I think. 
This is so different to the first game. It's, it's a lot to learn. Traffic jam. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Okay, so my brilliant idea of having everybody coming down here doesn't seem to be working. And this is where it's culminating here. So a lot of people try to get on this main road section, and that's probably what the problem is. So I'm wondering if I can connect up Road over here, perhaps. Cuts out a major part of the traffic direction, and this road doesn't seem to be that busy, so let's just see if that pulls any people down that way. Both the schools are here, so maybe I need to uh, come up with a much better solution overall. Right, it's a problem with healthcare, so let's just take a look at that. So they've got four patients and a capacity to heal a hundred. So what is the problem? I don't see a problem there at all. People are complaining about not being able to get an appointment, but it really doesn't look that way to me. Apparently there's a way you can turn on contour lines. only comes on when you're doing roads. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. Right, so finally we have a massive demand for medium density residential. So I'm going to start Small demand for some offices. Where can we put the offices? Put the offices over by the industry. Kind of keep it out of the way. Oh man, there's a huge amount of stuff going on that I don't fully understand yet. Lack of labour. Half these houses are not actually got anyone living in them. get some more people moving in. Right. Uh, 
crematorium seems like a, not a good idea. Any more signature buildings? No. Definitely starting to grow though, isn't it? Still losing money head over fist here. And start putting High density. So there's a massive demand for high density, not medium density. Oh, that's infuriating. It's quite difficult to tell the difference between high, low, and medium density right now. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. You are listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural sophisticate who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move now from the musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear... Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the Ooh, gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the honor, mm. uh, but I digest to continue. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. 
Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services uh. than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. So, you could rotate it. But, when you go to put it on a road, it just always has to go in one way. It's infuriating. So yeah, they've got like an entrance road there. Why couldn't the entrance be that side, or that side? That would work just as well, anyway. A bit frustrating. I read this. <laughs> Got enough customers. I need to start turning a profit here because we are losing a lot of money. But I need this to be high density housing. Massive demand for industry. This is an emergency broadcast to all oh citizens. No! Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Where's the fire? I see a fire. No fire. Oh, car crash. Oh, there's the fire over there. One tree. <laughs> One very small bush is on fire. That's ridiculous. Right. We've done well with the industry. We do have a massive problem with housing. High density residential demand. Let's see how I can accommodate that when I haven't unlocked it. Unless I can unlock it. Is that something I can unlock? Yeah. 
two developments. Additional income for the city, let's do that. Recycling city. Oh, there we go, we just hit milestone five all of a sudden. Progression panel, mixed housing, mixed housing. Oh, that means shops at the bottom, housing at the top. That's interesting. Still no high density. Garbage processing status is really small. It's 26.4 tons a month. We're processing 11.3 tons. Why is that? They're not using any vehicles. Why is that? Understand. Got Ten employees. They're 107 percent efficient. Doesn't seem to be working right. No one's complaining about me, shall they? I, th I think it's odd that they could demand high-density residential, but they don't give me high-density residential. I just... Oh. We have now. Or is there no such thing as high-density? No, look. See, there's high-density there. You've got to get to milestone eight. Why? Happens. What the hell? Oh no! I've just built all these houses. Go the other way. Go the Go the other way. No! Let's go the other way. I'll thank God this. No! Go that way. Go that way. That looks less realistic than it used to. Well, we've got a thousand citizens and an average happiness rating of 75 so we're not doing too bad we are not doing too bad what have i put here yeah look hardly anyone's moving in Massive demand for industry. Right, I'd like to do forestry. How do I do that?
Oh, post office, postal services, that seems like an important thing. Every area has at least one post box. processing anything. I'm so confused by this. In the first game, like trash management was pretty much the hottest thing right from the get-go. to do some forestry stuff but I've absolutely no idea how to do it. Areas? It's districts. You can create different types of neighbourhoods or specialise in an area for specific use for the district tool. The district tool Okay. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Ah, oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself, hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Ah, oh, yes, soul. A raison d'etre. Mmm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cans. 
We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect delays and drive safe. Ah, found it. And on to our this main thing. feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. I think it needs to go the other way. Um, how do I move this building? I can't delete it. This is silly. I can't. I can't move it. I can't do anything with it. I can't delete it. This makes no sense. I see. I can drag it out like this. Drag it out like this. Okay, that's, that's starting to make sense. Pretty good. Ninety-seven percent efficiency. They got one employee. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll let that tick over. I'm not quite sure if that's going to work or not. We'll have to come back to that later on. Traffic situation seems to have improved quite a bit since we uh, opened up a few extra roads. Citizen happiness is going up. We seem to be ticking away, but we've got to get to level eight. Waterbard for low density housing. It looks the same.
The low red housing and that look almost identical. Trying some stuff out. Population has increased, citizen happiness has increased, okay. Starting to tick a few boxes, I think. But we are definitely not making profit at all. producing wood so we are actually doing something we've got a deficit right now we are producing something okay oh Okay, I'm going to have to spend quite a bit of time just getting my head around all this. Not enough customers. Okay. Some people are dying. That's not good. Maybe I could squeeze that in over here. Where's the entrance? Where's the road need to be? So the road needs to connect on that side. So I put it here. Thank you. 
kind of works for me. The bus depot is now out round the back. It doesn't seem to be connected properly though. So still a path there. The end of the world. You're tuned into Second annoying. Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Let's cock that up. Let's cock that up. I didn't do it all the way around, did I? Ah. Right, we now have a bus lane depot thing. And there they are, the buses are going. Let's see how many people get on it, shall we? It's the middle of the night, so I'm not expecting a lot of people getting on the bus.
The animations on the buses are really nice though. Suspension physics and stuff. Nice to see. Have they stopped at any stop here? Let's come back to that. Give it a bit of time to dissipate because we've got all the buses together. We need a bit of time to spread out and whatnot. Still demand for industry. Really taking off, is it? Not sure, what I could do to twenty five stops, eight buses, usage zero percent. It's not good, is it? <laughs> That's not what we're looking for at all. Customers, Got some low cost housing in there. I won't complain about being too close to the uh, industrial area. In fact, it's a good opportunity for them to get jobs there, I suppose. Now, there's a massive demand for commercial zone. It's commercial building opportunities here, but nobody seems to want to take it.
So we got some happy areas and some very unhappy areas. Uh, why is all this red? why these areas aren't very happy. Most of the people seem quite happy. No one's happy here though. Why? Why is that? It's <sighs> a lot of information to try and absorb. or anything over here. Maybe I can do something about that. People have got access to lots of lovely garden areas, parks for their kids to play in, all around the shops. Hey, new signature building. Okay, fantastic. We can add that over here. Modern classic, they say. Lovely garden views into the river. That's cool. That's cool. Right, we are sort of, sort of getting there. So this road is still heavy traffic. And then we knew it would be, but then it kind of dissipates really well. So I don't know if that's okay. It's not too bad. Once you get like the initial entrance section done, it's actually pretty good. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Oh, hang on. Roads. What's this then? Oh, so these... What does that mean? Roads. The quality of the road? Road condition? Okay, so this is the traffic situation. It's not that bad. Sort of in the high 70s overall, so I think that's pretty good. Electricity seems to be fine, and there really is no issue with electricity. Healthcare. 
probably do with the doctors down here, but it's already costing me so much. so everybody can get access to it a little easier. The recycling situation Ending appears to be fine. to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. Definitely, definitely this needed. has been a Another local public station. service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet. Cut back you don't on have a the water shortage. And shower with a friend whenever possible. This shower has been with a, a friend. <laughs> You're listening to Second Moon, the Some station fun. for the cultural sophisticate who doesn't fear extending their. Herb. More challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move now from the uh, musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite. Uh, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the honor. Mm. Uh, but I digest to continue. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire oh, certain man. representations within ideological... Imagine that, having, having that right next to your house. ...apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. I'm pretty sure that isn't interfering. The other business, uh, bit of industrial there. There's loads of shopping opportunities. I don't understand. Not so much why people are complaining about lack of shopping options. Seem to be sort of not grinding to a halt, but just stumbling along quite slowly. We're still losing ten thousand an hour. 
it seems an awful lot, I have to say. Uh, local resources. What's this yellow stuff? This is fertile land over here, so I could turn that into a farm. So if I go... So chickens are our primary issue at the moment. This is all fertile land, so I need to do something with that. So if I put... some more. I'm so confused by what I'm trying to do. Frustrating me, this is. There we go. Right, so what do all these icons mean? Goodness me. So a lot of people are getting sick. Okay, right. We have a vegetable farm there. Have a little chicken farm here. Do chickens need to be on fertile land? I don't think they do, do they, really? Oh, I see what's happening. It's kind of building itself. It's not so much us doing it these days as it is you give them the land and they sort of do it themselves. Which is, I don't know if that's better or worse. Different, different. More realistic, I suppose. I 
hopefully that will bring in a bit of cash. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Unreliable internet and unreliable health care. Hospitals 1.8 million. I can't afford a hospital right now. Things seem to be happening. We seem to be going in the right direction. The building has been abandoned. Okay. I can't demolish it. Okay, then. Why is it being abandoned? Some parts are working well, some parts really not. No demand here for this. There's huge demand for commercial. So maybe I'll build a commercial area. to be able to bulldoze anything because I'm in underground mode. Ah, oh, all that time. All that time, that's why. Okay. Lesson learnt. I think that's enough. Uh, so we'll just make this all commercial. So the demand for commercial is dropping. Demand for industry is growing. It's all to low density. Because it's really not selling, is it? I think that uh, possibly that's going to get us to level six. And then we'll wrap this one up. Still making a massive loss every hour. It doesn't seem to be as much feedback as there was in the first one. I Either I'm doing really well, and there are no issues anywhere, or... Level 
everyone seems pretty happy. Except for the unreliable internet. Polluted air, high crime. Is there high crime? Two police stations. third one in. If we really do have a high crime situation, uh, more bobbies on the beat seems to be the best way of dealing with that, I think. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys. What? We're on the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's, uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait. Probably shouldn't have said that if anyone finds them. Please, don't, don't steal my car. I mean, uh -huh. the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Thank you for listening to, uh, Second moon. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been. Why is the dog park so much bigger than the, the kids' play park? A quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while. That just seems so out. wrong. If you're in it, so you, many uh, levels. You already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area so it is being built more high but very skills. slowly because I'm not in super, super fast mode. Our neighborhood. You can and I think we're about to unlock shoes boom tail. A fancy local Java mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Seven points to spend. I don't. I don't feel the need to spend money on anything. Police headquarters. All right, let's do it. And a prison. Okay, that's all my points to spend. Uh, let's go for a college. Can't really afford any of this stuff, but let's do it anyway. So I can't afford to police headquarters, it's two million. But I can afford a prison. Yeah, the prison is huge. I'll put it over here by the farm. That's it. Milestone six unlocked. We are now at Boomtown. You're moving ahead very nicely. I just, I'm literally just trying to get the hang of this game. At the moment, I feel very detached from it. Everything I knew about the first game is not really helping me very much in this game. I think we're doing okay, but it's very difficult to know exactly just how well you're doing. Like, for example, trash. I haven't seen a trash truck at all or anything. I, just feel a bit detached from it at the moment. That's not to say I'm not enjoying it. I think it's good, I think it's interesting. It looks a hell of a lot better. Uh, yeah, it's starting to grow on me. But there are a few little problems. One bug that we've encountered, that was a bit annoying. And loads of bits that I just don't quite understand yet. But I've only been playing it for, what, three hours? So what can you expect in the first three hours of gameplay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.